Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a super simple, super easy, but super effective fly. We're going to tie the zebra midge, and we're going to get started on this thing right now. So in the vise today, for a hook, I have a Tiemco 2488 in a size 18. This is probably uh, one of the bigger sizes for this fly. Um, 18, 16, all the way down to like a 24. We're just going to tie this in black, um, traditional color. And for thread, I have, I believe this is Vivas 17 aught. Uh, just a small black thread will work. For a bead, I have countersunk tungsten bead, a hairline, and 564th nickel. So basically the hardest part of this fly is just getting the bead on the hook. So I'm going to create a quick little thread base. Um, you do want to create a taper with this thing. So start your thread, create a base, and then we're going to tie in the wire. So this is extra small in silver. You could probably use small too. Get started on that. Bring it all the way back up to the bead. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, uh, please hit like. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of our future fly tying videos. And hit the bell notification so you know when we release the next one. So I'm going to create a taper by bringing it down in thirds and then coming back up the hook. So one third, split it into thirds. So that's one. And then we'll bring this all the way back down. Pretty deep into the bend here. Um, I like to think of it as when I hit my tip here, the tip of my hook, and then we'll bring it back up. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna create one more smooth thread base just to even this thing out. Oop, watch your hook point especially with tiny little thread like this. You should be able to crank a good amount of these out. They're super effective. Uh, they don't look like much, but pretty much they're a great little dropper, dry dropper, or, you know, off a heavier nymph rig. It's just creating nice, even wraps up. And then this thread or this wire is so small you can just break it off okay so the next thing I'm going to do instead of using thread to create a bump behind this bead I'm just going to use a tiny bit of dubbing and I just have polar dub in black you can pretty much use whatever you want this is you know the most basic version of this fly you can change up the colors you can put dubbing you can leave it out you can do it all thread you can tie them pretty skinny um, to pretty fat actually and they're all effective it's hard to tie this fly wrong you can, but it's hard. <laughs> All right, so I actually have a little too much dubbing. Pull that out. And that's more or less it. We're just gonna whip finish behind this bead here. And then get rid of our thread, and that is it. Super simple, super easy. I could probably crank out a dozen of these in 15 minutes. All right, guys, let us know what you think of the video below, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.